How's it going everybody? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, we are going over TikTok targeting options, all the options that you have inside of TikTok. There are some really unique options inside of here. So we're gonna be taking a deep dive in on how to use all of them. So let's jump right in. So the first thing you will need is obviously a TikTok's ad manager and all the targeting inside of TikTok happens inside of the ad group level. So you'll need to go and create a campaign and come into the ad group level. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will just be focusing on the targeting options. I'm not gonna go through the other settings inside the campaign options. If you wanted a full tutorial on how to set up a TikTok um, campaign, you can check out this video up above. But for this one, we're gonna be taking a very deep dive into the targeting options. So the first thing we have here is our ad group name, which I uh, named targeting options. Uh, in preparation for this video. And with the approach type, we're gonna have website. And then here's where we get to our first targeting option, which is placements. You'll notice that the default option is automatic placements, which means you'll show on all of the different placements that TikTok um, deems worthy for your ads. That if, But you also have this option here for select payments. You can choose to show on TikTok or any of these other two uh, places as well. Just keep in mind that not all of these networks are available in every single country. So if you are wanting to target a, a multitude of countries, a multitude, multiple countries, make sure that you go through and check which placements have have targeting for specific countries. I know that some places in Europe don't don't have some of these placements. So just keep that in mind. You know, if you wanted to just only show on TikTok, you come through and obviously just uh, click on those. But for now, we're going to stick with the automatic placements. Now, um, I also do want to call your attention as we go in through this video, you'll notice all over here that very similar to Facebook is TikTok does, does give you kind of a broad or a gauge to, to let you know how broad your audience is or how specific or how narrow. And it also gives you this targeting summary as I move my head out of the way here and I'm still going to be in the way. And it gives you the location and some other options inside of there. So pay attention to that as you're going through the targeting options because it will give you an idea of how narrow or how broad your audience is currently is. And this will change as we go through and edit the audiences as well. Just something I want to uh, point out to you as we're going through this. So when you are creating TikTok ads, I do recommend keeping user comments available. Uh, you want your ads to be as native looking to the platform, like an organic posting as possible. And if you don't allow people to comment on your ads, then uh, it's just kind of a red flag, right? Users kind of notice those things and they think, that, hey, why isn't, why aren't there comments on those? So make sure you allow comments, video downloads. So there's that. Next, now we get to what this video is actually about, which is the targeting. Now inside of the targeting, you have audience targeting, you have demographic targeting, you have interest and behavior targeting, and you have device targeting. We're gonna go through all of the options here and talk about how you can utilize some of them uh, as well. So we're gonna start first with the audience targeting. Now the audience targeting, if you come from a Facebook or uh, LinkedIn has this as well, uh, this is where you can create custom audiences or look like audiences. And how you do that is you come in here and you can click down and you'll notice that I don't have any populated currently in this just because this is a demo account. But we're gonna come in here to create new and it's going to take us to our audience manager. Once again, very similar to Facebook. And right here is the, in this dropdown is where you can create a custom audience or a look like audience. So we're gonna go through, like we're creating a custom audience here. We're gonna click this down and you'll notice that there are five different options inside of here you can upload a customer file and target current customers. So you wanted to, you had an e-commerce store and you wanted to upsell those customers, you could upload that list here. You could run an engagement campaign, um, people who saw or clicked on or engaged on any of your content on TikTok. So say somebody watched your video 75% through, you could then remarket to those people. You could create an app activity. This is of course for those who of you who own apps and want to run advertising for apps. And then we have website traffic. This is if you have the TikTok pixel installed on your website and that is cooking people and then you can go and run remarketing campaigns to them. If you wanna learn how to set up the TikTok pixel, check out this video up above and it walks you through how step-by-step -step on how to set up the pixel. We're not gonna be doing it for this specific video. And then the last one is, this is this one is actually new, is you can create a list of people who viewed um, or submitted one of your instant forms, essentially viewed and didn't submit or viewed and submitted, um, whatever it may be, uh, you can remarket to those people as well. Cause obviously if they're opening up those lead gen forms, then they are interested in that. And if you are interested in how to build a lead gen campaign, you can check out that video, uh, the video down below, it would probably be in the description uh, for TikTok lead gen ads. So those are the options for the custom audiences. As I mentioned, this is a demo account, so I don't actually have a customer uh, file or anything to upload inside of here, but that's the options that you have next is based on the, those custom audiences, you can then create a lookalike audience. And what the lookalike audience is, is you can obviously you'll select the source, which I don't have right here, which will be your customer list or your retargeting list or your app list or whatever it may be based on those custom audiences. Um, you'll go through and click this. And then this thing, this is a new, uh, this is something new for TikTok. Typically when you create a lookalike audience in Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever it may be, it automatically omits 
people that are in that list. So if you're creating a lookalike audience, it, you're saying, I only want to target people who look like these people. I don't want to target the people that are actually in this list. It's interesting that TikTok gives you the option to actually target people um, on the list and that look like the list all in one kind of setting. So the omit is the default setting, which means you're not targeting those people that are in the list. But if you wanted to do contains, you could say, okay, target people who are contained in my my email list and also people that look like that. So most of the time when you're running a look like, you're probably gonna wanna do omit because the the um, list is your current customers. Maybe you don't wanna waste ad dollars on them or you wanna create a separate campaign specifically for that email list. And then of course here we have system, which is very self self-explanatory. You have Android or iOS placements here is where you can define the placements as we talked about just barely inside of here. You have TikTok and then these other two options as well. And then location, uh, which of course is just wherever you want to um, target. We can set select all or, and that isn't letting me add something because I don't have the list yet. So if I had the list, then it would uh, let me show the location. Um, so it needs the location behavior. So that's why it's kind of giving me that arrow here. And then audience size, this is similar. This is kind of TikTok's way of giving you the option to, to you know, do 1% look like, 2% look like, kind of like on Facebook. Um, most of the time I, I recommend keeping this on balance. You could test running narrow and broad as well. And then the final thing here is to add the audience name. So if you went through all those steps, then you would be able to create this look like audience and then target your ads towards that as well. So that's the, the first targeting option, which is audiences. Now we're gonna go back over to TikTok and talk a little bit more. Oh, and you can also, so you can exclude, include, or you can also exclude. So say you have a current customer list, you can go through and exclude that from uh, those people from seeing your ad specifically. And next we have the location targeting or demographic targeting. Here's where you can go through and drop down and select different, different places where you'd like to run ads. It is important to note that the, that targeting isn't available everywhere worldwide. There are some places that are excluded. So you do wanna go through and check this list to make sure that the place that you wanna target is currently available to run ads to. For now, we're gonna keep it on the United States. Here you can target the gender. And then here we have the age range where you can go through and say, okay, I only wanna hit people who are 18 to 34, or 35, or essentially whatever it may be. Languages, here it doesn't have any limit. I do recommend, uh, just for, if you think about a good user experience, um, probably if you are running in the United States, you, don't, you do only wanna target English because probably, sorry, I got a, something caught in my throat there. Probably your landing pages and everything is in English as well. So I do recommend doing that, uh, selecting those languages. And then here is the interesting part of TikTok. Now inside of TikTok, you have interests and behaviors, and there are some really cool features that I really like that TikTok's testing out here for your, your targeting options. So the first one is interest. And this one is just essentially targeting people who have interest in certain things. Now you can look at the interest as kind of a long-term view. This means these are these are things that these people are interested in since the, essentially since their time on TikTok, since TikTok's been collecting data on them, whatever that time frame may be. So and then inside of the interest, you have behaviors, which is people who have interacted with certain content in the last seven or 15 days. So keep that in mind. The interest is a little bit more of a long-term behavior. The behavior, and I said behavior, the interest is more of a long-term uh, bucket that, that TikTok is putting you in. The behavior is more of a short-term bucket saying, okay, in the last seven days or 15 days, people, this person is really interacting with this content and therefore I want to target them because they're maybe in a different mindset. Inside of the interest though, we have lots of different targeting options. As you can see, we have education, uh, automobiles, and the list kind of goes on and on. It There's a pretty massive list. And you'll see here, there's a couple of these little arrows where it has even more drop downs and drop downs inside of here where you can continue to target more, more and more granularly. Now it is important to note, say that I wanted to target education. TikTok does not allow you to do and functions, which means target people who are interested in education and maybe um, let's say, you know, and travel. That's not gonna be the case. Whenever you add multiple interests inside of here, you'll notice that the, the audiences only get bigger because it's an or function. It's saying people who are interested in education or travel. So if you see over here right now, this is our audience size. If I click this to travel, the gauge is going to get even bigger as you can see right there. So keep that in mind. This isn't, uh, TikTok currently does not give you the option to narrow audiences or stack audiences. I do recommend if you wanna target two different audiences to create different ad groups for that. I'm, I assume uh, eventually TikTok will allow you to get more granular in the targeting. I don't know that for sure, but I imagine they're just going the, the same kind of way as Facebook is and have that kind, same kind of options inside of there. So keep that in mind as you're going through your targeting options. We're gonna exit out of this now. So that's the interest behavior. And then over here, this is what I really like about TikTok. And this is different from all the other platforms is this behavior. So you can hit people who have watched the video to the end, liked, commented, and shared. 
out of any of these different categories. You'll notice that there are less categories than the interest, but this can still be very helpful. I mean, imagine if you are um, looking for, you know, nature, we have animals, pets. If, if you or if you're selling a pet product, you're uh, like a dog collar or whatever it may be, you could hit people who have recently watched to the end, liked, commented, and shared. And you can do one or all four of these. You can come through and say, okay, people who have liked, shared, commented on pet things, and they are in the last seven days, which means they are really interacting with that kind of content, which means if you go through and you show an ad that is, involves pets or whatever it may be, then the chances of the engagement on that ad are gonna be so much higher. So I hope you realize the power of this behavior targeting is something that I do recommend um, starting with first. This is what I have the most success with inside of TikTok is this behavior targeting. I try to go seven days because that means it's the, the most recent possible. If your audience is too small or too broad or you're not getting hits from there, then go through and expand into interest or even the 15 day. And uh, with the disclaimer, of course, that not, not one strategy works for every single account, but this is just what I've noticed in my testing and my targeting options. So same thing, you can come through and add or functions here. You'll notice that the targeting just gets even more and more broad essentially. So keep that in mind. And there are lots of different targeting options inside of here. I do recommend just coming into the platform and just going through and finding the niche that you're in and seeing different ways that you can target those people, both with interests, with behaviors, with your audiences and everything in between. Now that we got that out of the way, we're going to now, um, we're gonna delete this again. We're gonna come over here to behavior creators. This is also uh, something that can be very valuable. So people who have carried out actions with the following creators. So people that have followed or viewed profiles of any of these different things. This is, this is different from, you'll notice that this is people who have watched the end, liked, commented, shared. And then here is people who have followed or viewed profiles. If you're an influencer and you wanted to grow your own following, this could be an easy way to pay to, for those followers. Essentially, if you really wanted to do that, um, you could get people who are, are following a lot or viewing profiles, which means they are really likely to take those actions. And you could do the same thing. You come into your niche and we could say, okay, we want to follow or we want to hit people who are recently followed or um, hit the profiles of drama. <laughs> I don't know why you want that, but uh, just throwing that out there. So there are a lot of different niches in here that you can go through and target. So very powerful options. I do find that this one right here, the watch time, liked, commented, and shared is more effective. And then this one is probably the second best in my opinion, um, but take that for what it's worth. And then the next thing that is, is interesting is inside this device category, you can target operating system, which is really nice. OS, um, so this is if you wanted Android, iOS, you can target all the different operating system uh, versions, device model, there's all of these right here. This is really nice that they just have a nice drop down if you wanted to target specific device models. And then you can hit people when they're only on Wi-Fi, if you're worried about you know their connection dropping, whatever it may be. If you're on a tight budget, sometimes I do recommend to people only to, to hit people that are on Wi-Fi, that way their connection doesn't break when they're swiping up for the ads, but take that for what it's worth. I'm sure 5G will be coming out soon here as well. Carriers, this is interesting that you can target by carriers as well. AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon. Uh, I imagine if uh, if I'm Verizon, I would probably be running a massive campaign to people who are only AT&T users. I think that's money for you know any of these big four. I would just be running ads against all the different competitors. Verizon, AT&T, take note of this tutorial. And then device price. I thought this is interesting. You can target people based on the device that they have, the price that they, they paid for that or, or the range that it may be, right? So I have an iPhone 8, that's probably like a $600 phone or whatever. So if you wanted to target people like me, you could come through and uh, I think it's $600. Correct me from the comments comments if I'm wrong there, but um, iPhone 8, it's kind of an older version of the, the iPhone. But say you wanted to only hit people that had, um, you know, a thousand plus dollar phones. Um, you can come through and say, okay, I only want, you know, a thousand to a thousand plus. And there's a couple of different, I haven't used this personally myself, but there's a couple of different ways I could see this working. If you have a really high end product, you're probably just gonna wanna go for people who have the most expensive phones because it, it means that they they probably have excess ca capital that they could buy your, your more luxury product or whatever it may be. So it's an easy way to qualify your audience a little bit, the fact that they have more expensive phones. And one more thing that I do wanna talk about in the targeting options, because I do, I do kind of carry it in the umbrella of targeting, is if you come down here, there is this um, day parting option. So you could select specific times on when you wanna target people. Um, this can come in, in very handy, obviously, depending on what your product or service is. You might want to run only during business hours or only on weekends or only on weekdays. I can't tell you what that is for your product, but I'm sure you have a, a really good idea. So as I mentioned, this tutorial is specifically only on that targeting. So I'm gonna end it right here because we have now covered all the targeting options in 
side of TikTok. If you want to learn more about TikTok ads, feel free to check out the link down below or the links down below. I have a lot of different tutorials on TikTok ads and I create new videos whenever they come up with new features. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss out on a video uh, for TikTok ads. Because right now these new features, they really give you an edge over the competition. So I always go through and try them and they usually do really well. We will, I think that's everything that I got for you. We'll see you in the next video.